Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited 2. Today is episode number 11, and we are carrying on where we left off. We are back on the island of uh, Ibiza, and we are going to do the Ibiza Cup now. So, uh, let's pop the roof down. Actually, to be honest, I think the roof could probably stay up. Kind of miserable weather. It's not like Hawaii. Abide by the law. Check your mirrors, no one behind you. Switch to the other lane. And pull out. <laughs> Here we go. Now. There's Stuart. I don't like Stuart. Oh, nearly had it. Oof. Our car's looking a little bit smushed up. I mean, look at the damage on it. I'm coming for you, Stuart. There we go. And there is the cup. You have reached your destination. This icon represents access to a cup. Well, no shit. <laughs> everyone today is the last competition of solar crown in ibiza this event mixes all categories of vehicles the drivers will need to master all types of driving on all types of terrain if they hope to win the tension is at its peak who will be declared champion of ibiza and walk away with one of the world's most desirable cars place your bets now probably should have done this first because that's an a5 car so, mm, slightly buggered. What do you mean challenges? Oh! We have to do them in order. Ah! Okay. I was like, what? what's going on? Uh, right, so we're going to have to change to a B4 vehicle. Um, we're going to change to Ryan's Toreg just to, uh, bug him, just to piss him off and prove that we beat him in this. <coughs> and we're off for a new competition <laughs> of Solar He's Crown. in his Toreg again. To all of you, and I'll see you at the finish line. <coughs> and the, the fake one's at the front, so, <laughs> Got quite a long race to go, actually. <clears throat> um, so I may try and shift it around, get some different vehicles. I don't know yet. Um, but we will win ourselves a Lotus, I think. By the looks of it. Is how racing is done. A million reward for this, a million credits for if we win this. Obviously, not this race, but overall. 
the championship. I think as well on Hawaii, or it might be Ibiza as well, there is literally a race where you go around the outside of the map and you have to try and win. Uh, I think Hawaii's one sort of goes into the middle more as well. But I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's not we are flying through this event though. Eight seconds ahead. I love to see that. So if you guys have been enjoying um, Test Drive Limited 2 so far, because I really have, make sure to leave a like down below, because it tells me that uh, you guys really are enjoying this. Um, as well, if you want to support the channel, we have a join button as well, uh, if you guys do want to check that out. Still eight seconds ahead. What does the interior of this look like? Oh, quite posh actually. Oh, what on earth was that? Yeah, that's too quiet. I need to hear the engine. Shit. Quick. Yes. No, 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 no. Stay away. Yes. Nice. Right. That is a win number one in the bag, which is amazing. Seven thousand five hundred for that. There's a lot of money in this race, in these races. Uh, next event is the C4 speed traps. So we are driving our Lancia, I think it is. Uh, Lancia Delta. Uh, this one's stock though, so that's a little bit of a worry. I forgot to upgrade these. This one. We meet again live at Solar Crown with all your favorite drivers. Miami, the Wilder Brothers, Stewart, they're all here. And we're off. Two, one, go, go, go. Hang on, I've not actually seen this part of the map before. Hopefully we got a better time than anyone else through there. I doubt it though. Oh no, we got fastest time. That's very good. This is interesting though. Uh, what number was that that we just did? Number three. No, number two. But even then, we still got higher than anyone else's speed, so that is okay by me. Let's go, acceleration is key. 
65. Sounds good, could go faster. Couldn't even get faster on that. They managed to get 78 miles an hour going up there. Car doesn't like going uphill for some reason. Makes sense, but it's a little bit annoying. Just got beaten on number one by a lot. Still came first, just about. We were that far off though, not much. Right, race event number three. That is down here, it's the Eliminator. Oh, I hate Eliminators. Oh, and it's an A7 one as well. It could have been A6. But we gotta go A7 for this one. Right, uh, time to get the Abrera out. The competition continues with the next round of Eliminator Challenges. We know how our competitors dread this kind of event, so let's wish them good luck. I forgot, we need to avoid wheel spin, otherwise that happens, we get overtaken. No, why are you sending us all the way down there? That makes a lap longer. I don't want it to be longer. I want to earn this money as soon as possible. Here we go. Oh, oof. has been eliminated. Next person. If we're averaging around about 70 miles an hour, to do seven miles is going to take us around about, I don't know, six minutes, seven minutes. Whoa, 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 slow down. There we go. Slow, slow. Chris Wilder has been knocked out. There we go. We're on episode 11 and we're still only at like A5. 
We've still got the B3 and the C3 to do, and then we've got A4, A3, A2, and A1 left to complete. Plus, there's a high variety of every single one of those. And you've also got... Hang on. Achievements aren't on there yet. You've also then got the Hawaii Cup, because there's going to be a, a Hawaii Cup. Maybe even two of them, to be honest, because of the size of the map. Like a middle one when you finish A3, for example, and then a high end one when you finish A1. Who knows? Plus, Ibiza, we've actually unlocked most of the dealerships, if not all of them. So that's going to make life easier to find cars than if it was Hawaii. Because the dealerships are exactly the same on both islands. It's just you can find it there or you can find it here. So definitely looking forward to... I think I'm looking forward to Classic 3. Because there's a Mercedes one with going doors that looks so amazing. I'm pretty sure that's in this game. Um, I will double check. Because I know there's a Mercedes dealership all the way up to the north of Ibiza. I don't know where it is on Hawaii, but I know where it is on Ibiza. So we will double check that at some point. It's kind of amazing though how they've got two completely different style maps though. Like Hawaii, completely different style to this, and they've managed to pull it off. They managed to pull it off. And they pulled it off back in 2010 when game development wasn't really well funded. It still isn't today to be honest. But games like this just probably would have been brushed under the carpet by a lot of people. And it still is. A lot of people don't realise how good this game is as a racing game. And honestly, if I was to recommend one game for you, anyone to try out as a racing game fan, Test Drive Unlimited 2 is one of those games that I will constantly go back and say, you know what, go give this a try. Give this game a try. Give it a shot. It won't hurt. It only costs, like, £3 now. Obviously, you need to either have a PC to have Steam or um, an Xbox 360. So I'm playing on a 360. But if you've got a PC, there's nothing stopping you hooking up your Xbox controller and giving this a try. Because it really is one of those games you should try. I feel like I'm advertising it almost at the moment. <laughs> how is he catching up? And how is Ryan ahead of Tess? That doesn't make sense. He's the off-road guy. He shouldn't be racing on-road. Oof. Just take out the road signs. Why don't we? Slow down. There we go. And there's that corner. And we are about to win this with three seconds head start. With a three second advantage. No, that's not what I'm looking for. A three second lead. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to look for the word. I was just like, no, no, no. Next.
Right. Uh, that is that event done. Which one is the next one? This one. Uh, I'm guessing A6. No, B4. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Uh, change to the Orion one. And let's start. Does our challenger have what it takes for this new timed event? The moment to prove his worth has finally arrived. I find it hard to believe that this car has a V10 in it. One, it sounds too deep to be a V10. This would, seems more like it should be a V6 or a V8. And two, it's an off-road car. It shouldn't have a V10 in it. I'm sorry. That shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> this one obviously doesn't have off-road penalties because it's designed to be off-road. I want some wiggly track. Yes, we got some wiggly track. We got hairpins. Lots of hairpins. Lots of hairpins. Oh my gosh. I've just seen when the track's going. Do not go left. Do not go left. Oh, I went left. Oh, I'm sad. I don't get to go down those hairpins now. Oh, but we got these hairpins. What? Why have I got an obsession of hairpins? <laughs> there we go. Hairpin right. Hairpin left. Ouch. Hairpin right. <laughs> sideways there. A little bit of drift. Never hurt anyone. Hundred and twenty miles an hour on the dirt. Oh, 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 we would have lost that. 1.48. Ah, oh, we may have just messed this up. Let's hope that we haven't and we can regain it in the corners. Yeah, two seconds, we messed it up. Uh, I'm hoping we don't have to win everything to win. See how much can we claw back? I'm guessing once you complete an event, that's it. You can't go back to it. Second. I'll take that. It's painful, but I'll take it. Oh no, we have to come first. Okay, interesting. Right, looks like we're doing it again. Uh, let's try inside the car. See how well that goes. <laughs> nice corner cut there. Yeah, I don't think this is going to go well. We might try this one. Three twenty-eight. That's good. 
it's that straight bit after the hairpins that we sort of struggled on. Uh, we didn't get enough speed by the looks of it. I thought 120 miles an hour was fast enough, but apparently not. But being six seconds ahead now, I think we're okay. Oh no, 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 no. Five fifty one, that's looking really good. I think we we're at three twenty at this stage last time. Five forty seven, we've gone slower a little bit. Oh no. Got back. 639. 5.2, that's where we got behind. So by the looks of it, we're gonna do it this time. I'm glad, because I really don't want to do it three, four times just to win. But I do like how you have to win on on the cup races. Sort of makes it like, oh, you fail, you're going to have to try that again. And there we go. Over seven seconds faster. Next. Right, what is the next event? This will probably be the last one we do for this. Hang on, so is this the A6, A6, and this one C4? Okay. 4.5 miles, fair enough. Not too bad. Uh, change vehicle to our Alfa Romeo Brera. Right, we're on a time trial though, so we can't go off the track at all. What surprises will Solar Crown give us this time? There we go. We've got a fairly okay start. Could have been better, but could have gone a lot worse. And we're still ahead, so it's fine. I'm concentrating right now because I know these ones I always messed up with um, these time trial things I always went off the road I mean have you seen the past episodes where I've done the time trial and it's been an absolute nightmare not even joking That was so slow getting up that hill, though. One point nine seven. Okay, so apparently our car was quicker than everyone else's up that hill. Nice to know. Oh, that engine, though.
Here we go. Halfway through. No, we lost it. We lost grip. Get back on the track. Oh no. I know that we I now know if we lose this though, we have to redo the whole thing again. Come on. Don't fail me now. Come on Alpha. You can do this. Oh no, Alpha's failed me. Oh, this is buggered. Yeah, that's it. Oh, what a failure. Eight seconds. Well, I know we're right beside the Mercedes dealership, so that's all right. For when it comes to the classic in a minute. There you go, Mercedes-Benz, unlocked. How bad. A fourth. That couldn't have gone worse if we tried. That couldn't have gone worse if we tried. Actually, it could have. We could have got... Eighth. Right, let's go again then. Let's do this. That was an even better start than last time. If only I could connect an Xbox One controller to a 360, uh, this would make life so much easier. Honestly, this controller, the thumbstick, is a little bit awkward to use. Um, I mean, the uh, three. Uh, the Xbox One one is just perfect. I love the controller just in general. 085, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Right, pay attention to the mini map. If any sharp corners come, slow down even a tiny bit. Zero point seven. Oh no, my finger slips off the trigger. How am I now behind? Right, well, that was where I messed up last time, so I'm glad I didn't do it again. And I messed up in a different spot. No, get back on! Right, hopefully our car's speed can help us here. That's the only way we're going to win this now.
1.9, okay. We've got more than a second head, uh, lead. That is good. Could be better, but it is good for now. Right, we're coming up to the city now. This is where the second big mistake happened, right here. Two five three. Amazing. Oh, forgot to break there. And across the line, first place. We did it. Right, we've got three more to do. Right, so our next event is the speed. It is a A6 event. Um, it's going to be quite... Hopefully we can do all right with our... I mean, our Subaru is very powerful, just in general. Um, it's level two upgraded now as well. So it should be even Today, better. No need to think. Simply put your foot on the gas. One objective. Drive as fast as possible. For as long as possible as well. You can't just drive as fast as possible because as fast as possible, you hit 200 miles an hour. You're not going to win. You need to keep up that speed. See? This is going to be an absolute nightmare. Because there is going to be a tight corner up here and I'm not going to be prepared for it. There you go, there's the tight corner. Slow down. No! There you go, see? Messed up. Right, somehow I gotta go straight across. Nope, we're going this way. Oh, bugger! And again! This was a terrible route we took. Fourth. Couldn't have gone worse if we tried. Right, so somehow I... Oh, you can't open the map in the middle of events. Oh, that is such a nightmare. I can't even turn around. Can I? I can't open the map, but I can only pause. Shite. What am I doing? Right, we need to try and get over a thousand points. Okay, I went the right way. This is the highway. I recognise this bit. There we go, highway, see? I definitely went the right way that time. Right, uh, next event. Because I have a feeling that we might have to do the final event in the last one. Okay, so that's the next event. This is the final one. Yes. 
Yes, that's the next episode task. Let's go all the way down here then. That's going to be a long video, so I hope you guys are prepared to watch all of that. <laughs> Uh, change vehicle, let's swap to our Delta, our Lancia Delta, and let's start. I also want to off camera double check that my car is fully upgraded as well, because if I lose that, oh my god, I won't live it down. What surprises will Solar Crown give us this time? Here we go. Do a little bit of racing like this, can't we? Whoa, 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 slow down. Slow it down. is actually turbocharged which is kind of impressive oh my gosh this is just so much fun like this game just it's so exciting as a racing game obviously there's more exciting games Rage 2 is really good um I've been playing that lately, so that is really good. But this game is just it's so fun. And there is progression. I know that at the end of this there's gonna be a million credits and I'm gonna be able to afford myself a nice house or a nice car or something. Do that to me. Sky just changing like that. To be honest, outside it's really dark now. Pretty much night time, and it's four o'clock. Not in the morning, at night. Four o'clock at night. And it's pitch black outside in the UK. Honestly, winter is a nightmare when it comes to going outside at night because you just can't see anything driving is dangerous not even joking I mean we have some street lights but you then get the country roads in the UK they're a death trap at night absolute death trap don't drive down them And there we go. All we've got to do now is the big race for the next episode, because we are not doing it now. Which will be episode 12, I think. Yeah. Right, so that's going to do it for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It would mean the world to me, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.